are back with another deal breakdown. This one is so exciting because this is like a free deal. This was a referral. This was a, a referral from somebody that I know in Utah. They referred this deal over. They had worked with this seller before. The seller owns properties around the country and they happen to own this property in East Mesa. And we don't do a lot of business out there because as you can see, it's a really nice community. There's not a tremendous amount of distressed properties in this area. So when we saw this, we really wanted to jump on it, but we did a different type of technique on this, okay? We didn't just traditionally assign this deal. We didn't wholesale this deal. What we did is we actually closed on it and did what's called a whole tail. That's where you don't put a lot of money into the property and you just buy it and put it right on the MLS, right on the market. And that's the strategy that we use. But we were able to buy this property at a discount here. And you can see it's just a beautiful community, beautiful, clean community. It's got, it's got a gate, it's a gated community. It's fantastic. But the owner of this property actually bought two properties, one just down the street. But unfortunately, he bought this property, he had it fully furnished for his son and his son actually passed away. And um, it's just, it's, a tragedy and they were it took him a couple years to just you know actually want to sell the property it, there, there was a lot of emotions tied up in this and we were able to work with the seller and make this really 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 clean so from the first time that we found out about this deal to the time it closed it took us about 10 days we moved very quickly we bought it with our own cash and uh, and literally put a little bit of rehab into it a little bit of cleanup and and put it right back on the market and so it was really really um, it was good for everybody they were able to, to to finally release these emotions we were able to get this opportunity and they didn't want to put it on the market they didn't want to deal with the furniture they didn't want to deal with it, anything to deal with this property and sometimes that happens but you get these opportunities to get referrals if you are loud don't be scared don't be like hidden in the shadows doing your real estate investing business you need to turn this thing around and you need to show people and die document and put stories out there and post on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on YouTube, whatever it is that you are comping properties, you're driving for dollars, you're, you, you just got a contract, you're, you're, you're doing a renovation, any of those things need to be documented. And I know, listen, everybody hates their voice, everybody hates what they look like on, on camera, but just be brave. I am telling you, it is for your business and you're going to get more opportunities. You can add five to 10 more deals a year if people just know that you are a real estate investor. So that is the biggest takeaway here. Now I'm going to break down the numbers here because it's really interesting because we got this property, we closed it quickly, um, but it's not, it was a little tight. It wasn't the numbers that I typically like. I like bigger deals, but this was a little bit tight. And that's one of the reasons why we decided to take it down and put it right back on the market because it wasn't a traditional wholesale deal. We didn't net a tremendous amount on this one, but all in all, you know, it took us about, you know, 24 minutes to get this thing evaluated and put it together and to make a profit of just over 24,000. So let me show you what's going on here. Let me minimize that. Let me go here and I've got it broken up here. So we bought this property for $260,000, okay? Now, because we closed on it, we had to pay the closing cost of $4,594. And I apologize for my handwriting, but at least you know it's me and this is a real deal, right? The repair, we only put in just over $1,700. And when we jump to the property, we're gonna go, well, I'm gonna take you to the property in just a minute. You're gonna see what we did there. And the agent, now this is really critical. When you are doing a whole tail deal or when you're doing a flip or when you're doing whatever, if your market is on fire like ours is, like across the country, you can negotiate. You don't have to pay an agent 6%. We've got a fantastic world-class agent for 4% and he does everything. I mean, he is phenomenal and he got it sold really, really, really quick. We sold this in under uh, a week and it was phenomenal. So, uh, and then the closing cost in this is about $4,000. So I'm gonna skip to this just to show you the net here. So we sold this property in under a week on the market for $315,000. Now, if you add all these up here, it equals to 
290939 And that's a profit of $24,061. But I'm telling you, 24 minutes. We had two conversations with the wholesaler in Utah to send it over to us. And uh, we got this deal locked up. We called our agent. He went over there. He got it cleaned up. He organized everything. And we are profiting $24,000 all because we are loud. People know what we do. We've got a great reputation. That's what I want for you. But I want you to feel this. I want this to be tactile. I want you to take, I want you to see what this property actually looks like. So let's hit the streets. Look at this place, are you kidding me? This place is in phenomenal shape. Now this is very rare. Most of the properties that you're gonna see on these deal breakdowns, and honestly, most of the deals that we do are older properties that need way more renovation because that's how you get those really big spreads. But this was a referral. This was somebody that I know that sent me this deal, this opportunity, and that's what happens when you are loud, when people know what you do for a living, they know that you buy ugly houses or you buy properties cash and you buy them fast. That is the advantage of being loud. Now listen, we literally put just over $1,700 into this property. And it was really just, we had to fill up the air conditioner with some Freon. We had to fix a, a floor tile over here. We had to get rid of a lot of the, the, the furniture that they had in the garage. And that was it. That's the beauty of this. That's the difference between a wholesale and a whole tail. Now it was a little bit tight on the numbers, like I mentioned before in the office breakdown. So it was a little bit tight to do a wholesale, but it was perfect to just close on this and to just put it back on the market. And once we put it on the market, boom, it sold really, really, really quickly. And we're making a great profit on it. When you find these opportunities that come around, this is why you need to build relationships with your private money lenders if you don't have the cash to close in this. Now, I just closed with my own cash, bought it, boom, done. But if you have a hard money lender, that allows you to be able to go out there and purchase these properties and be able to just clean them up a, a little bit and put them in the biggest pool of buyers that there is, and that is the market. That is the MLS. So it's a huge strategy you know if you're starting out maybe not the best strategy but as you start going as these clean properties start falling into your lap because they will make sure you clean them up put them on the market and get the most out of every single deal yes yeah.